This video illustrates the use of the Michigan Groundwater Management Tool, MGMT, to delineate groundwater flow directions using extensive hydrogeologic data from Michigan's massive sta statewide groundwater database. This example maps the flow directions around a pumping well for the village of Schoolcraft, Kalamazoo County, Michigan. The so-called Theus Drawdown created by the pumping well is superimposed on the static water level map, which is then used to delineate a wellhead protection area, or WHPA, for the well. The wellhead delineation obtained using this approach compares favorably to that delineated by traditional methods, that is, by collecting extensive site-specific data. The steps to create the model are as follows. 1. The map is zoomed in to focus on the area of interest, the village of Schoolcraft, Kalamazoo County, Michigan. 2. In the data layers, expand and check the potential contaminants group and check the plume layer. This displays a polygon in Kalamazoo County that represents an existing contaminant plume delineated by traditional data collection. 3. Zoom into the map to focus on the area around the plume. 4. Now expand and check the WHPAS group and check the WHPA layer. This displays an existing WHPA delineated for the community pumping well. 5. Click on the Create Polygon raster and while holding down the Alt button, draw a rectangle around the area containing the plume. 6. A Model Options window will appear. Use the default options and click Apply. 7. A flow field showing hydraulic head contours appears. The colors red and blue refer to high and low heads respectively. Water flows from high to low in a direction perpendicular to the head contours. 8. Expand and check the wells group. Note that the drift and rock wells for type 1 and type 2 are checked, which denote community pumping wells. Note that a pumping well is located within the WHPA delineation. 9. Click on the drawdown operation and click on the map at the pumping well location. 10. In the model options window, the drawdown list shows this well location under dd underscore gw flow underscore manual. Check the box next to this well location, which allows the parameters to be entered based on which the drawdown is computed. The parameters include pumping rate, storage coefficient, aquifer's hydraulic conductivity, aquifer thickness, and time of pumping. Use default values for all parameters. Change the aquifer thickness to 70 meter. 11. Click Apply. This superimposes the Theus drawdown on the existing static wire level maps. Notice that the head contours around the pumping well have changed in response to the pumping applied. 12. Click on Place Particle by selecting Point Feature, and in the window that appears, select the GW Flow underscore drawdown wells. Then select Around Site under the Locate Particle option, and change the number of particles to 25 and click OK. 13. Click on the time clock icon and change the time step to 30 days and click OK. 14. Click reverse running model. Notice that the path delineated by the particles is almost identical to the WHPA delineated by traditional methods. 15. Click Stop Running Model and then click Remove All Particles. 16. Click Place Particle by drawing a polyline and draw a polyline upstream of the pumping well. On the right hand side of the map, notice that the number of particles released is 40. 17. Change the time step to 100 days. 18. Click Start Running Model. This begins the evection of particles along the flow directions. Notice that while some particles are captured by the pumping well, the rest move past the well and trace the plume delineated by traditional data collection.